Hello, my name is Bob Rust. I'm with Rust Law, LLC. Uh, we focus on business law, the state law, which includes the state administration, and land use law. We are relatively small, includes myself, attorneys uh, Alicia Mealy and Pamela Zetterberg, and paralegal Kathy Hyman. Uh, <clears throat> in the estate area, one of the things that comes up fairly frequently uh, is the question of what is a special needs trust and when will I need it or do I need it? By special needs is a term of art. It means someone with a special need because of a disability. It could be a mental disability. It could be a physical disability. That is such that that person, be a young person, which often it is, or an older person, uh, is simply not capable of taking care of him or herself. Um, and therefore, that person's loved ones are concerned about who would care for that individual if they were no longer available. And it's a typical uh, area of uh, where one would look at this would be a family with a child uh, with some a, a serious impediment, it might be through autism, um, and the like. Uh, there are many variations of, um, of, of mental disabilities. Some folks are, some are th that literally uh, cannot add, do much for themselves, all the way over to those that can live independently and maybe the work that they're doing is not that sophisticated, but they can have a form of independent life. Here, if someone wants to speak to me about this, my first recommendation is not, not to talk to me, but to talk to someone in the insurance and the financial planning area with a corp of, of an insurer that has uh, done a great deal of work in uh, that area. I'm not to pick just on one, but I do it because I'm very familiar with it. Mass Mutual worked with Easter Seals. Um, they came up with a specific course to train individuals in <clears throat> what they needed to know and do to care for families where there was a special needs person within that family. Um, within our BIB business networking group, uh, Ryan Ostrike uh, comes specifically to mind. He was one of the first to uh, get certified. That program was so good that the American College adopted it and is now used throughout the insurance industry. So go there first. But they're gonna eventually need a trust, and that trust has gotta be very carefully crafted to make sure that any government help or sub -sub subsidy to, that's given or will be given to that child is not put in danger because of any distributions from the trust of either income or principal. So you need to go to an attorney that knows how to do that. And that's a subject that we can spend some particular time discussing, and I welcome you doing that if you have an interest in it by calling uh, us at 610-821-0484, 610-821-0484. Thank you, and I wish you well.